Welcome back to Fun Media, and today we're gonna have a look at a editing software that I've been trying for a month. Uh, it's a nice discover for someone who's got a bit of knowledge, who's not that of a beginner, but it's not a that of a pro, just in between. Really good for a YouTube channel, kind of. It's called Pirate Director. Let's have a look. All right, uh, so now we'll come into the opening page of uh, Power Director 19. So you can see it, Power Director 19, uh, software that worth $140 US. And here have, I'll just have a look here on their plan. So you can have one month for free if you want to try it. Then you have the ultimate version or the subscription version, which is almost the same but with the subscription if you pay like that of course after a couple of years it's a lot more than 140 dollars but it will give you access to like background more background music and sounds clip and photos and stuff like that because you have an online library which could be useful if you need it if you don't need it well I'll just go with the i would suggest 140 dollars not that one you have more feature all right so now let's have a look right here on the open end page you have the save button uh, which is right here uh, you can have either this normal timeline view or the one that i'm not a fan of but the storyboard all right but normally i just work on it with a normal timeline uh, this is the opening media content page so you could just import your media with this button right here and then you can select all your media you can select only your video only your photos or only your music right here so I'll just keep it like that uh, right here you can have access to a bit of free music of course they have an online library and sound clip just for effect little burning fire uh, so now with the timeline uh, let me just put a clip like that one more clip so you have your timeline here so now right now this clip right here is selected if you double click on the clip here so right here it's gonna play the, the preview clip on that one if you clip on the timeline and edit this clip here then this clip right here that is playing is those from the timeline not anymore the one in the preview because I'm using the timeline uh, in the timeline since I'm on editing mode because here you have editing mode produce is at the end when you want to export your clip and create this for those fan of DVDs so I'm working edit mode so in you have the little uh, trim tool so I'm working on that clip you click on it it's gonna open a new window and then you you select whatever you want okay, I'd like this here from this here maybe see it has cut and it has trimmed your clip like you want it then you put it here and then you can place your transition okay now I'll, I'll just get rid of the music for a little moment uh, back to those little tools we have tons of tools here I'll just show you one or two tools uh, let's try to crop crop or pan or stuff like that once again it's gonna open a new window and you can crop I'd like maybe have only a skateboard like that like that smaller and click OK then you have you have it here then w directly in the this window you can move it you can put it smaller 
you can put it wherever you want so it's pretty straightforward pretty easy to use and it's gonna be like that with all the tools it's very easy to use very friendly and this software normally in uh, editing if you wanna have overlay like put a clip above another you just put it above a new line right here on this one you, you, gotta, you gotta put it below which I don't really care but see this clip is below but it's it's above this clip so then you can have two clips for the purpose of the tutorial I just put it back here so with the tools once again you have tons of things you have uh, let's try one that's pretty cool the motion tracker you'll see how easy, easy that is so it's actually telling you all the steps right here so first step it's gonna ask you to select where whatever you want to track so you put track and it has pre-selected let's say I'd like to track our head or yeah her head track then it knows that I w I'd like to follow her head let's do it again track see the point is following her head and now let's say I'd like to have some text Then you edit the text or whatever you want. I'll just put yeah, because that's what she's thinking right now. So see, just press OK. And you're going to see it appear. Yeah. And it's following her head. So this is what is motion tracking. Easy. Just add, put it below here. Um, another way to work on the clip so I just double click on it it's gonna open a new window and right here you can work with all those little tools uh, chroma key if you if you're doing grease green screen it's an all it's working all right I mean it's not the best that I've seen not the worst border if you want to put a little border then you just click right here it's putting border blur you can see it shadows reflection flip there you go she's upside down I mean just a couple of good thing you can do just by double clicking on it I don't want to take that uh, so yeah you, you, there's a couple of things audio ducking to work on uh, your audio right here um, you have the fix tool So the fixing tools just to show you how it is you have a ton of options. So let's just try one lightning adjustment. Add more light, less lights changing right here. White and balance, video stabilizer, you have a couple of things. Color adjustments maybe, brightness, more bright, less bright. Uh, you have the keyframe it's not the best keyframe system that I've seen but once again hey you have keyframes so for those who knows about keyframe it's really a good thing to use let's just try it with clip attributes so this little point right here is your keyframe I'll just put one at the beginning of the clip see that's put a little button right here and then I'd like to put one maybe right here so what I'm gonna do is just work on that. Yeah, let's put some more keyframe right here, and just into the two between right here, the software is gonna do all the thing by itself. So this is how keyframe works. I'll just get rid of it. Uh, yeah so let's go with the next thing now uh, we have seen this one 
this is where you save your project you, you, know, you would have tons of project right here the FX right now so the thing that I liked about the effect in Power Director, first thing first, there there's a I mean 157 effects, not bad at all. And you have a preview, just click on one here, and then you see the effect with the little balloon. You see exactly how it is bigger. See? And let's just try one. Uh let's try style effect. That one is a pretty normally would be a little long to render so it's pretty easy to use you just drag and drop drag and drop and see right away it's like the render is done in a fraction of a second that was pretty quick not bad at all so if you don't like it well just control Z and then you're back to your normal video Let's just try one more for fun drag and drop and play see how e easy that is once again control Z because I don't want it and so it's pretty much like that for all the effect drag and drop there here you put it there and you're done I mean it's very very straightforward you don't need a bit a lot of knowledge you might need more knowledge when you are working on the, with the keyframe and some tools all around here but it's very very complete i i, I kind of like power director for all this little easy to use thing all right overlays i mean this one i'm not a big fan of it's let's say i'll just get rid of that to show you what is the overlay maybe you put an arrow right here you have it here you can put it wherever you want and then you would right in a hit in it uh, maybe please like the video or stuff like that so this is this is it about the overlay uh, now you have these uh, little particle room like they liked it to call it's another kind of overlay uh, so you, I'll just show you one once again you just drag and drop put it below see you have this one here which is really up to date so you can put that hey like 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 my video all right titles now so titles with power director this title everything you can do with it it's not my favorite there's not tons of thing you can do but at least it's pretty easy to use once again you drag and drop double click on it change your title and that's it you're done or you can put it here once again my title click on it and you have a couple of temp template, not that much. Create it. Of course, if you're doing a little movie, that's always cool to have at the end. Drag here, drop, double click on it, work on it. There's not many things. I mean, there's a couple of very, very small template, not really advanced. But at least, I mean, you have everything you need to work your little video this one's not bad all right now transition every time you see this little lightning in any software it means we are working the transition there's 185 transition so I mean it's not bad at all um, once again just choose one let's go in uh, special I like that one click here you see it here a to b okay i like that one put it in between two clips drop and play you don't like it control z okay i like to see something else um that one looks good okay i like it drag drop and play there you go oh i like that one okay i'll leave it there you're done
easy as that uh, audio mixing room if you'd like to put your sound stronger or maybe it's too loud so this is your audio mixing room this is your mic if you want to record your voice do uh, some voiceover uh, right here chapter room if you'd like to work chapter one chapter two then you you would have a couple okay I'd like to could be either scene one C2 or sequence one sequence two your subtitle if you'd like to if you're doing a video in English and would like to put it in French with subtitles this is here when you would do all your subtitle so this is pretty much it with the all around uh, tools that are available in Power Director. Uh, once again, here you have Produce. I won't go anything with the Create Disc. Not much people use DVDs anymore. But right here, it's pretty cool. I mean, he has tons of format that you can use. And either, either, and either you can do it for directly on YouTube, which is pretty much number one right now. For a device, if you want to do a video for Android, Microsoft, or even Sony device like uh, the Xbox, and then you just select whatever you want, you export, and you're done with your uh, your video with Power Director. So that's it. I mean, I give it a really good notes, at least an eight out of ten. Uh, it's I'm giving eight out of ten if I compare to those kind of level software so it's a really really good note for someone who's just know how to edit video without wanting to do like really really specific special effect honestly power director is a good choice and uh, i'll give it a thumbs up and you can try it one month for free so just go try it download it and that's it so you can subscribe to my channel please for more video like this video it's always a good help and i'll talk to you next time with fun media